Abraham de Moivre was a French mathematician known for de Moivre's formula, one of those that link complex numbers and trigonometry, and for his work on the normal distribution and probability theory. He was a friend of Isaac Newton, Edmund Halley, and James Sterling. Even though he faced a religious persecution he remained a steadfast Christian throughout his life. Among his fellow Huguenot exiles in England, he was a colleague of the editor and translator Pierre Desmazo. De Moivre wrote a book on probability theory, The Doctrine of Chances, said to have been prized by gamblers. De Moivre first discovered Binet's formula, the closed form expression for Fibonacci numbers linking the nth power of the golden ratio phi to the nth Fibonacci number. He also was the first to postulate the central limit theorem, a cornerstone of probability theory. Life Early years Abraham de Moivre was born in Vitry in Champagne on May 26, 1667. His father, Daniel de Moivre, was a surgeon who, though middle class believed in the value of education, though Abraham de Moivre's parents were Protestant, he first attended Christian Brothers Catholic School in Vitry, which was unusually tolerant given religious tensions in France at the time. When he was 11, his parents sent him to the Protestant Academy at Sedan, where he spent four years studying Greek under Jacques du Rondel. The Protestant Academy of Sedan had been founded in 1579 at the initiative of Françoise de Bourbon, the widow of Henry Robert de la Marque. In 1682 the Protestant Academy at Sedan was suppressed, and de Moivre enrolled to study lodger Katzo Mule for two years. Although mathematics was not part of his coursework, de Moivre read several works on mathematics on his own including El Hermans des Mathématiques by Jean Prestet and a short treatise on games of chance, De Ratiocine is or in Ludo Ali, by Christian Wiegens. In 1684, de Moivre moved to Paris to study physics, and for the first time had formal mathematics training with private lessons from Jacques Ozanam. Religious persecution in France became severe when King Louis XIV issued the Edict of Fontainebleau in 1685, which revoked the Edict of Nantes, that had given substantial rights to French Protestants. It forbade Protestant worship and required that all children be baptized by Catholic priests. De Moivre was sent to the Prior de Saint Martin, a school that the authorities sent Protestant children to for indoctrination into Catholicism. It is unclear when de Moivre left the Prior de Saint Martin and moved to England, since the records of the Prior de Saint Martin indicate that he left the school in 1688. But de Moivre and his brother presented themselves as Huguenots admitted to the Savoy Church in London on August 28, 1687. Middle years by the time he arrived in London, de Moivre was a competent mathematician with a good knowledge of many of the standard texts. To make a living, de Moivre became a private tutor of mathematics, visiting his pupils or teaching in the coffee houses of London. De Moivre continued his studies of mathematics after visiting the Earl of Devonshire and seeing Newton's recent book, Principia Mathematica. Looking through the book, he realized that it was far deeper than the books that he had studied previously, and he became determined to read and understand it. However, as he was required to take extended walks around London to travel between his students, De Moivre had little time for study. So he tore pages from the book and carried them around in his pocket to read between lessons. According to a possibly apocryphal story, Newton, in the later years of his life, used to refer people posing mathematical questions to him to de Moivre, saying, he knows all these things better than I do. By 1692, de Moivre became friends with Edmund Halley and soon after with Isaac Newton himself. In 1695, Halley communicated de Moivre's first mathematics paper, which arose from his study of fluxions in the Principia Mathematica, to the Royal Society. 
This paper was published in the Philosophical Transactions that same year. Shortly after publishing this paper, de Moivre also generalized Newton's noteworthy binomial theorem into the multinomial theorem. The Royal Society became apprised of this method in 1697, and it made de Moivre a member two months later. After de Moivre had been accepted, Halley encouraged him to turn his attention to astronomy. In 1705, de Moivre discovered, intuitively, that the centripetal force of any planet is directly related to its distance from the center of the forces and reciprocally related to the product of the diameter of the evolute and the cube of the perpendicular on the tangent. In other words, if a planet M follows an elliptical orbit around a focus F and has a point P where PM is tangent to the curve and FPM is a right angle so that A is the perpendicular to the tangent. Then the centripetal force at point P is proportional to Fm3, where R is the radius of the curvature at M. The mathematician Johann Bernoulli proved this formula in 1710. Despite these successes, de Moivre was unable to obtain an appointment to a chair of mathematics at any university, which would have released him from his dependence on time-consuming tutoring that burdened him more than it did most other mathematicians of the time. At least a part of the reason was a bias against his French origins. In November 1697 he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society and in 1712 was appointed to a commission set up by the Society, alongside M.M. Arbuthnot, Hill, Halley, Jones, Machen, Burnett, Robarts, Bonnet, Aston, and Taylor to review the claims of Newton and Leibniz as to who discovered calculus. The full details of the controversy can be found in the Leibniz and Newton Calculus Controversy article. Throughout his life de Moivre remained poor. It is reported that he was a regular customer of Slaughter's Coffee House, St. Martin's Lane at Cranbourne Street, where he earned a little money from playing chess. Later years de Moivre continued studying the fields of probability and mathematics until his death in 1754 and several additional papers were published after his death. As he grew older, he became increasingly lethargic and needed longer sleeping hours. He noted that he was sleeping an extra 15 minutes each night and correctly calculated the date of his death as the day when the sleep time reached 24 hours. November 27, 1754. He died in London and his body was buried at St. Martin in the fields, although his body was later moved. Probability. De Moivre pioneered the development of analytic geometry and the theory of probability by expanding upon the work of his predecessors, particularly Christian Wiegens and several members of the Bernoulli family. He also produced the second textbook on probability theory, The Doctrine of Chances, a method of calculating the probabilities of events in play, was written by Girolamo Cardano in the 1560s, but it was not published until 1663. This book came out in four editions, 1711 in Latin, and in English in 1718, 1738, and 1756. In the later editions of his book, de Moivre included his unpublished result of 1733, which is the first statement of an approximation to the binomial distribution in terms of what we now call the normal or Gaussian function. This was the first method of finding the probability of the occurrence of an error of a given size when that error is expressed in terms of the variability of the distribution as a unit and the first identification of the calculation of probable error. In addition, he applied these theories to gambling problems and actuarial tables, an expression commonly found in probability as n, but before the days of calculators calculating n, for a large n was time-consuming. In 1733 de Moivre proposed the formula for estimating a factorial as n, equals cnn plus one-half e minus n. He obtained an approximate expression for the constant c but it was James Sterling who found that c was square root. Therefore, Sterling's approximation is as much due to de Moivre as it is to Sterling. 
De Moivre also published an article called Annuities Upon Lives, in which he revealed a normal distribution of the mortality rate over a person's age. From this he produced a simple formula for approximating the revenue produced by annual payments based on a person's age. This is similar to the types of formulas used by insurance companies today. Priority regarding the Poisson distribution Some results on the Poisson distribution were first introduced by de Moivre in De Mensura Sortis Seu, De Probabilitate Eventuum in Luda Cacasu Fortua Dependenti Biz in Philosophical Transactions of the Royal Society. 219. As a result, some authors have argued that the Poisson distribution should bear the name of de Moivre, de Moivre's formula. In 1707 de Moivre derived, which he was able to prove for all positive integers n. In 1722 he suggested it in the more well-known form of de Moivre's formula. In 1749 Euler proved this formula for any real n using Euler's formula, which makes the proof quite straightforward. This formula is important because it relates complex numbers and trigonometry. Additionally, this formula allows the derivation of useful expressions for cousin sin in terms of cousin sin.